Hey, this is Time Bomb. If it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me. And I, I noticed I've been doing this a few times this year, these kind of like beat all coverages. So I thought, why not make it a series? So this is the third episode, I believe, of beat all coverages. And in this episode, I'm going to take a look at the play crossers. So I'm using the Bills playbook, but you can find a lot of similar plays in many different playbooks in the game. So I'm just going out of the ace here, ace normal, and it's this PA crosses play right here. I was mistaken, it's the PA crosses, not the PA crossers. So let's use a 4-3. We've got the uh, Madden team here. We've got a cover four, a Tampa two, a cover three, a fireman, and we're gonna come out in a cover two man that we'll take a look at in a bit. So we'll start off going against a cover two for the defense, and we'll put the uh, the linebacker in a deep blue here and so here's the setup for this play that I use I'm gonna first of all go and max protect everyone then I'm gonna put uh, cancel the play action on the running back I'm gonna put my tight end a into a streak and I'm gonna put B my wide receiver here in a drag and I'm just gonna watch X uh, run his route across the field and when he hits the numbers that's what I'm gonna throw it to him with a lead of about two o'clock and he will be wide open as long as I get the blocking and I get the time we're gonna be able to throw it right to him he's gonna get in there no problem between all the coverages so let's try it again this time the only thing different I'm gonna do with the defense oh put it into a Tampa 2 I'm gonna again put him into a deep blue with the defense but I'm gonna um, <clears throat> protect the sticks, which is an important thing to do when you're on defense. It can stop a lot of uh, cheesy plays that there are in the game, but that's gonna, not going to stop this throw here. It's still going to be able to get right in. Oh, we didn't get the time, but you can see he's getting wide open over the middle of the field. Another two. And protect sticks. And sometimes... You can uh, ID someone too here if you want, but I think it was just rare that he got the shit. I'm going to be able to get that in to him a little earlier, but you can see it was wide open. You just got to watch how the pressure's getting in, but he's, he's a dot. If you get the time, he's going to be over on, open over on that side as well. So now let's take a look at the cover three. I'm going to use the exact same setup, just blocking everyone. Uh, tight end in a streak, wide receiver in a drag, and we're looking for x row just developing again over the top. As long as we get the time, he's going to make it. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get there. You can already see it, though. The space is there, just not quite getting the blocking against this all Madden team here. And I'm putting the this cover three, I'm putting into Cloud Flats as well. I threw it a little earlier, I guess. A little. You want him just just when he hits the numbers is when you want to throw it. Oh wow! Still just not getting the coverage here. If you do see the pressure getting in, you can always check it down to the drag as well, because he should be wide open over the middle here. Oh, there we go. Dots. You know, the coverage all broke away there. We got him wide open on that one. So now let's take a look at the cover four. That throw's not going to get as open as it develops down the field here. Um, so what you want to do is throw it a little bit earlier, kind of in between this uh, linebacker, and these two, the, the outside linebacker and the middle linebacker. There's a little bit of a window there right on the, the hash marks, the inside hash marks, to be able to hit him. If you don't want to throw that one, then you're going to want to check down to B. So you can kind of just get it right in there. I throw a little low pass. It was a little bit of a window, a little late there, I guess, on it. Pressure's getting in quick. This is nice. This cover four has these outside contains on it too. See? Right there, right up the middle to him. Uh, he didn't hold on, but that's the idea with that one. Or like I was saying, you can check it down to B because these clouds are going to be backing up. 
these the cover four is in clouds usually like this you're gonna have a lot of room so you can either let the drag run right over to this side of the field and hit them there and you've got a little bit of room inside you can turn it up definitely plus five or when it's coming across if it's a hard flats as well you want to drag you want to uh, playmaker that drag up the field because there's so much room on this play against the cover four right in there. You're definitely gonna get a plus 10 yards almost if you can let that playmaker, if it gets a nice crispy playmaker straight up, you got so much room right there. The more the angle it goes, the earlier you're gonna wanna throw it to him so it doesn't go right into the cloud like that. So he gets hits on contact and he might knock the ball loose. Uh, the next thing we wanna take a look at is if your opponent's sending a heavy blitz. That's when you're gonna wanna, if you, you know, you're probably gonna get sacked once when you start to see it, but then when you start to recognize it, you, when you block everyone and cancel the running back, then you're gonna wanna ID whoever you think the blitzer is or who you've recognized it to be, and then put your tight end into his routes. Just so it, if you do it beforehand, then it won't actually register the tight end's route. It'll, he'll, if you ID, it clears all the blockers, uh, the routes basically to identify that person then put the drag on and then you're just basically watching for the pressure you see it coming you might want to run outside the pocket and then you might have to throw on the run but you can still find him wide open there ah he's wide open i guess not enough wide open to make that to uh, make it through that hit so that's the idea anyway when that happens you just got to recognize the blitz coming right away and then roll just roll outside and lastly here like i said i was in a cover two and in this case, right, you can just watch the, basically one of these guys is gonna get open. If the if the X does get covered really tight, then you might not be able to throw it to it here. It looks good, I just double tap it, open field. He's gonna get at that ball, no problem. So you, as you can see, there's just, you know, it's gonna beat all the coverages. I don't know how good I did with the cover three. I think I forgot to do the cover th three against the sticks here with that matched up. So we see the cover three. development here the cover three. Oh yeah see there's the cover three beater right like that so he's gonna get in between all those zones with the cover two the cover three the cover four I, it, what happens here I'll show the development it doesn't work because for some reason with this cover four that it matches the coverage on that development over to that side of the field there so you'll see how covered that X is gonna get when he goes over to that side of the field. Like everyone, he just picks up more people on the coverage as he goes over there. Look, people just start following him all the way over and he seems like he has a step on him, but anytime I've thrown that, and it seems like the pressure gets in because there's these four contains, I guess I could put, I'll put him on a spy just to buy us some more time actually in the cover four this time. And then I'll try to make that throw. Hopefully he won't get there in time to take me out. And then we can just see Time. See, he's trying to get over, but see, look how many people he picks up. He does get in there, but you've got a lot more pressure on you with those guys. Depending who's playing you, they might play that a lot tighter. So, the cover four is the toughest way to make that throw into the corner, but every other coverage, you're good to go on that one. And the way that I recognize cover four, to me, it's pretty obvious. You just see all four of these these defensive backs just drop into coverage immediately off the snap of the ball. See, boom, they're all looking back. The play actually made them kind of bite on that one. I forgot to cancel it. Let me show it again. Cancel the play action, put it into a cover four. They're already dropping back. And see, boom, you just see them all the way they're dropping back like that into coverage. It's just so obvious to me, basically, that, that it's when it's in cover four that you know exactly that you have to just react differently. The cover two and cover three. Uh, the cover two, the way that I pick them up is just the way the the cornerbacks drop into the clouds when they're in the cover two. I don't know, you can, I, to me, it's just, it's obvious the way that they're dropping in. Can you, can you see it there? Again, I had the play action, so it's not the best example. Play action. See the way that they just kind of sit there, unlike the other the other coverages where they'll drop back more on the cover four, and then the cover three. You can see because the 
the one safety will be high, but maybe they'll base a line. So the way that you can pick it up is that one of the safeties won't be dropping into a coverage. See, like off the snap of the ball, see how that safety just dropped, jumped forward instead of instead of jumping uh, jumping into coverage. See, how he's playing the cloud in that situation. In the in the in, in sort of in cover threes, one of the safeties is going to be playing a cloud flat, likely or a hook zone, depending on the situation. So that's just uh, an easy way to recognize it. Oh yeah, we can go into the instant replay here and show it again. See right there, the way that the safety just drops in inside the 30 rather than the other safety drops back. And it's just the other two outside cornerbacks are dropping back as well. So you can, that's the way that I'll pick up the three different coverages on what they're running against you, but there's lots of ways they can disgu disguise what it is beforehand. So seeing it post play is a big help for you. So thanks a lot for checking out this episode. Um, I'll be back with another episode soon, another passing play I'll break down. Thanks a lot for joining me. I've been Time Bomb. You guys will be awesome. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you later.